Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 48 <coughs> of Hero Got a Sky. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see the one scene that everybody is freaking out about with Wing and Butterfly. But see, you say that, and then we learned something else. We talked about this last week. Right? Uh, uh, that can't be true. Something about this just still doesn't feel right, though. See, once again, I feel like Scarehead had to plot something in her to think that that happened. Because if she was here, if Noble was here right here and now, we would know the absolute truth. Oh. No.
But that's not gonna bring them back though. So, um, creators of this season, y'all just watched Chainsaw Man, and y'all was like, hmm, let's take a former pretty character who's in that show and name her after her. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. This might be the last time we see that transformation because, you know, but th this show was ending in two weeks. And we know that we're going to see Wonderful in the last episode. That is tradition, regardless. So, mm, we might see one more tra transformation by episode 50. Maybe. But I feel like this feels like the last time we're going to see all of this. Because after this, It's like, we need to either have the final battle in this episode or the next one. She's too upset. The fact that Wing is just like going in, oh my god.
Again. The partnership of my babies. Oh my god. Like she immediately took charge, went in, was like, fuck it, we are dispersing. Oh my, oh my god, I can't right now, oh! <laughs> this final battle already trumps delicious parties. Like, don't get me wrong, like, delicious parties is good, but just the things and the situations and how these girls are just taking charge and just be like, we gotta do this, and this is the only way we're saving this city. My girlies from Delicious cannot, like, oh my god, what the hell is that? Ugh. Oh my god!
I'm literally going to miss these two interacting with each other because like, oh my god, I can't. This was their episode. I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> As of right now for her, no. Did that not feel a little easy? Like, too easy? Or was that me? Because she ain't put up no fight with that.
So then what the heck are we going to do with these last two episodes? What the heck about to happen in this next episode? I was expecting this final battle to be kind of two episodes. This felt a little too easy, but it's still better than delicious, I'm just saying. What the f- Okay, so who did that? That's why I was like, I'm like, this feels a little too freaking easy. Like, you telling me our final battle is done. The, the show said no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we kind of got rid of <laughs> Scarehead. But no, he's coming back. So that's why I think Scarehead put something in her mind to make her think, oh, boom. Noble did something. And, excuse me, he might give context on that next Saturday because I'm going to try to watch this episode next Saturday. But, you know, that, that last little bit, you took me out of that. Like, that was a big major surprise. Like, mm-mm. But at the same time, I think maybe, mm, no, because see, from the minute he popped up, I didn't get Final boss feels. I always got final mid boss feels from him, and that you know the Empress would have been the final boss, but you know the show just said <laughs> take that and reverse it, <laughs> bring it on back, and be like, mm, no, no, he is the final boss of this. What the heck? But no, seriously, let's just also talk about butterfly and wing. Babies went in. A day. Tough freaking day with this episode. I mean, their partnership, once again, like, when we get into these last two episodes, I will definitely miss. Like, yes, I love all five together. I will always love all five together. But it's just, to me, Wing and Butterfly had that better teamwork. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, yes, I love me some Mashido, my my girlfriends, my wives, and my child, but... They all my child at the end of the day. At the end of the day, they all my fucking kids. It's something about, and it's probably because of the fact is Wing, once again, is our first guy, or really our second guy. And we've never really had a team where it's opposites. It's always, you know, same sex and stuff like that. I mean, you can count, was it Infinity? Is that his name? I don't really remember. It's been a long behind time since Hugato. But the one episode that he was in, yeah, we got something with it and such. And that's the same thing even with, like, Picario and Kitakita. But this, it's next level. That's why I am praying to God we continue the tradition, because this is a tradition now, that in that picture for Wonderful with the boy and his bunny, let them be a team. Let the bunny be a girl and let and let the guy be a fucking pretty hair. I understand once again that people are all like we, we talked about this last week where everybody is now kind of mixed on the fact of continuing having boys become pretty hair. But once again, like we were taught that even guys, girls, whoever can become a pretty hair. We're going into a season where a dog is a pretty hair. And you not excited about that? I'm excited about that. I'm excited about anything that comes out for Pretty Care because it's Pretty Care. And you want to be pissed about the possibility of another boy becoming a Pretty Care? Go sit down. Like, seriously, no. Like, if you are that toxic about, about it, just, mm -mm. just don't watch it. Just go back to any other season 
and be satisfied with that because a lot of new changes are coming for it for the good and for the better the situation that we had also with wing and a little boy getting upset of the fact is there wasn't a costume for cure wing that he wanted that it got so big because people talked about it and um taking the black the the <laughs> I can't speak the backlash and making it into a positivity and for them to for Toei to be like okay let's go ahead and sell costumes continuing that ish on because they're going to deal with the next ones so don't don't run away from it embrace the new change if you are really upset about that new change you go back that's the same thing with some of my favorite artists and music people are pissed about this one artist that i love to death like so freaking much especially with all the ish that she's done and the girl just released her new single on friday and people are saying it's mid no it's good it's just y'all just want to talk so much crap about people and all these other things that people have done and such yes we're not perfect we're human we always make mistakes but damn I can't with people sometimes. I really can't. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Retorts episode 48 of Hirogato's Guy Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 49. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.